Drawing My Life Part 3 is to thank all of the patrons on my Patreon page and thank them for helping me reach my first target. The turn of the 1960s saw our family move to Germany. We lived in British Army barracks in Iserlohne. It was the height of the Cold War and I think the Brits spent most of their time driving their tanks all over the countryside. We lived a fairly normal British life at 13 Rembrandtstrasse. My memories are blissful. There were five sisters living next door and Bridget was my best friend. We did everything together. We particularly loved the taste of orange flavoured baby aspirins. Mm, mm. Luckily, we were found before we ate them all. Now, this was long before the Beatles and hippies appeared on the scene, but I had long hair. It was so unusual in those days that most people thought I was a girl. I just hated the hairdresser and I would kick and scream if I was taken anywhere near. I was also particularly fond of flowers. I would pick daisies every day and place them in the specially made hole in my jumper. I think I was really the original flower child of the 60s. Hey, wait a minute. Did I say 13 Rembrandt Strasse? Eek, 13. Unlucky for some. The house had a reputation for catching fire, and so it did while we lived there, just before Christmas, burning up the Christmas tree and all our Christmas gifts. For over 50 years I was blamed for this by my brother and felt terrible guilt every time the story came up over Christmas dinner. Then one year I worked it out. Wait a minute, I was only four years old at the time. My brother always made me out to be a hardened arsonist. My mum finally confessed that at the time I was next door with Bridget and that the fireman said it was all due to a set of faulty Christmas lights on the tree. <sniffs> Never believe stories you are told about you when you were young. They are all lies. In honour of Yuri Gagarin's first flight in space, my sister made me what she called Sputniks. She'd stick four chive leaves into holes in a tomato so it resembled the iconic Russian satellite. I think that's what gave me the space bug. I always thought that I would grow up to be a spaceman one day. When she wasn't making Sputniks, my sister loved washing my hair and putting it up in pigtails. My brother and sister were sent off to boarding school, leaving me behind like an only child. My brother went to England and my sister went to a convent in Belgium. Now what was that all about? She had to learn to speak French pretty quick. A couple of years drifted by and it was soon time to go back home to England again. I remember looking down from the aeroplane, seeing the ships in the sea and the white cliffs coming towards us. And all the way there we sang. Have you seen the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Have you seen the Muffin Man who lives down Drury Lane? Well, I never did see him. And you know, I think secretly, I'm still looking out for him. Many thanks to my wonderful patrons who support me on www.patreon.com slash shoe They will get an exclusive making of Drawing My Life video. Click one of the boxes to see the whole series or the next video where you will discover why I was playing with mortar bombs, why I was the only child in the school and what was my first real memory of England. Click that logo and make sure you are subscribed on the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel to find out when you can see the next exciting installment of Drawing My Life.